Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your mid-month April read. We're here. Don't worry, we still got a few weeks left. <laughs> We're in it. Take a moment, settle in, take a breath. Grateful to have you here. Grateful to be here with you in this moment of time. You know it's always a good time when we get together and the waters flow. Ooh, talk to me. <gasps> Cancer, tell me about the boo. Tell me about the boo. You don't know what to do about them? Because they coming in hot. <laughs> they coming in quick. <laughs> they come in and stirring up all the feels. Or if you're in a partnership, things are getting serious. They're getting deep. Maybe y'all are moving in together or taking your relationship to the next level. And you're just like, Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, this feels great. This feels magical right here. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. We love that. We love a new beginning. We love an opportunity. We love a soulmate and faded connection. We know that we're great when we're in love. Listen, all water signs need to understand you just flow better when you're in love. Whether you're in love with a person, okay? In love with what you're doing. In love with life. Water energy. It's life energy. And to be alive is to love. To be alive is to love. It's to feel that love penetrate you. And to accept it. To enjoy it. Right? Now, if you are a Cancer who hasn't yet found your footing with your work, with your passion work, with your purpose work, this can feel really frustrating because you feel the potential for it around you, but you're like, I don't see it yet. Oh, why isn't it here yet? Why is it taking so long? Listen, we know better than to rush the universe. We know better than to rush the universe, right, Cancer? We know that if we are not yet living the reality we want to be living, then it's an indication, an invitation to manifest it. To already get into the vibration of it. Yep, you got to celebrate it like it's here before it arrives. You have to manifest and celebrate and rest and be easy and dream of how beautiful it's going to be when it gets there. Because you're already chilling in the vibration of it. It's a matter of time. But if you're standing on the sidelines, hoping, wishing and praying for it as if you don't already have access to it. Well, yeah, it's going to be really painful. But look at you. Look at you thriving. Look at you moving through the fields. I love this for y'all, especially in a month that feels so emotionally heavy. Y'all are finding the silver lining or you at least know that you have to find the silver lining because listen, this is not a read for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But Cancer, you have to go through that death and rebirth cycle. This is that death and rebirth cycle. So if you're watching like, bitch, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel like this at all. Ask yourself why you're holding yourself back from tapping into something like this. Because you are the master of your emotions. The minute that you choose to say, I'm going to sit above what I'm feeling and not let it dictate my self-worth, the door is always open. Always. But remember, you're both the sea and the waves. So that's just hard to remember all at once, right? I get that you you're you're putting on your oxygen mask first cancer you're putting on your oxygen mask on first take that how that resonates with you six of six of wands page of cups man with the fool at the bottom of the deck look at the energy that surrounds you and again if it doesn't feel like this if it doesn't feel like magic, if everything isn't sparkling, ask yourself, ask yourself, what do I have to change? What story do I have to alter 
so that I can start to see the magic that I know is around me. And the way that you do that, Cancer, is through controlling how you feel. Now, you can't control what comes in, but you can control what you feed. Mm -hmm. You can control what you feed. Let's just, let's cut it straight. It feels like a divide. It feels like there are Cancers over here that are just like, listen, I'm winning. It's great. I'm here for it. Bless. Magic abound. I'm with the soulmate. I'm celebrating. Work is going great. The ideas are flowing. I know I'm abundant. Everything is moving in my highest favor. And yet there's another group of cancers. Talk about duality, yeah? That's like, fuck all this. <laughs> I can't even think about this. Thinking about this is so painful because I don't yet have the soulmate. How can I celebrate if I don't have the soulmate? Work isn't going great. How can I celebrate if work isn't going great? I have writer's block or I haven't been able to really be in my creative flow. So how can I attach to this? Well, listen, you take the opportunity that's coming to you out of thin air and you run with it. You don't fight it. Look at you fighting, 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 confused. And what's it going to do? Just bring you right back to enduring a process that's going to pull you right back to this new beginning anyway. Listen, you could take this detour if you want but it's long and it's arduous and you just end up coming back to who you are anyway. <laughs> like, Cancer, we don't need that detour. This is that energy where you really got to believe it until you become it. And guess what? This full moon in Libra, it helps you tremendously because the relationships of your life are teaching you this. They're showing you. What I really hope you're not doing is distracting yourself, caring for everybody but yourself, putting everybody before you. Because this energy screams for your energy. It screams for you to manifest it, to align with it. But if you're too busy worrying about everybody else, if you're too busy pouring into everybody else, it's going to be so much harder to have the energy to pour into you. Right? There's going to be big focus as the month progresses to your home life, to your family life. But you still have to come on first. I think that's why oxygen mask came through. Like you really have to put your mask on first before you can be of service to anybody else. And it looks like this month you putting on your mask, what that really translates to is you feeding your dreams pouring into your dreams, pouring into the life that you wish to live, that's available to you. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Yo, y'all reads, it, it's always so funny to me because you'll get the best cards, but when I, the feeling of it, when you tap into the feeling of it, it's like such, such a different vibe. And that's your emotions playing tricks on you. You are this abundant. You are this abundant, this heartache, this pain, this suffering. Look at it in comparison to all these good cards. Is this enough to undermine all these good cards, my love? It's not. It's not. At every single juncture here, this can be present. But you have to understand that you're stronger. And this month really tries to show that to you every chance it gets. Y'all have probably been transmuting like, mm, just transmuting, just healing it, healing it, healing it, healing it, <laughs> healing it, healing it, healing it. If you're in a relationship, a committed partnership, let them be there for you. Let them pour into you. Give them the truth of what's going on. Sometimes you just need a good cry. I feel it. It's like a lump in my throat. And if not, understand that the more that you allow yourself to get close to this the more you can understand that hey this isn't actually as deep and painful or it doesn't have to exist deep and painful like this anymore i'm actually strong enough to move through this i'm actually capable enough of navigating with my strength especially because there's beauty that awaits you. But like I said, there's still that healing work that needs to be done. Look at all these cups. Look at all these cups, fam. 
Mm, Pisces, High Priestess energy coming out. That Five of Cups and that Two of Cups is significant because this is the perspective change that is always needed for you to shift seeing this whole read like through a lens of this versus this. Right? It's important. So let's see. What do we need to know about the full moon that's going to have you come face to face with whatever this is? This full moon in Libra, it's really asking you to look at your foundations. Look at what you believe is possible for your life. Don't let yourself become distorted by what you don't think you have yet or by even wishing for what you want. Get very, very, very clear on how abundant you are because it's time to release negativity. It's time to let this go. But it hurts so good. I know, but it's time to let it go. But they haven't apologized. I know, but it's time to let it go. But are they ever going to get their karma? Listen, let it go. Spirit will handle them. Don't put your life on hold waiting for them to get what's coming to them. Because that just means that they're taking more from you still. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> We got abundant blessings to align to cancer. Abundant blessings to align to. So, ooh, where'd you fly out from, Empress? Where did you fly out from? That's magical. Fam, if this isn't a reminder to operate from your place of power, I don't know what is. So let's clarify for the extended. We're going to clarify the Six of Cups, the soulmate energy. We're going to clarify this Page of Cups, what's coming through. This is a creative birth. This is your passion purpose work. And we're absolutely going to clarify this Three of Swords. That Three of Swords is heavy. This whole line right here. And then we'll pull another uh, moon card as well. Okay? So let's see. Six of Cups, soulmate energy. Oh, Spirit, you always remind me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're like, I need you to pick the card. All right, I'll pick it. Yep. And especially for Cancer, because intuition on point, honey. Thank you. You actually want two more cards. Okay. Yep. yep. I love when the cards are direct like that. Mm -hmm. clarification for the page of cups listen i need you to trust yourself this month mars moves into pisces it's in a sign where you're absolutely downloading you're absolutely receiving through your emotions you're receiving through your emotions so it's very important that you will have a healthy emotional release so you can absorb what you're downloading. Releasing this negativity isn't just releasing a grudge. It's releasing anything in your body that's not supporting you receiving these downloads. Because they're coming in hot. They're coming in potent. Okay? You might be getting directions for the next couple of years of your life. You want to make sure you have space to receive that. Okay? And then the clarification for this three of swords because it absolutely needs to go before we get into eclipse season and it gets yanked out of us all right so these are the cards that we're clarifying in the extended unless we need to clarify some more you know i'm always down to do that and we're going to pull another moon card as well yeah cancer mm -hmm. listen you're winning let yourself win don't let the emotions eclipse the good that we see this is a beautiful read fam take the opportunity Root in your strength and allow yourself to go with the flow. Allow yourself to align with the best possible scenario. Okay? I love you.